Hello guys, welcome back to Lola's Kitchen. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Please, one thing before we get started. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit your ring bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And today's recipe will be cocoa. Yes, cocoa. I haven't had cocoa in a while. So I'm super excited to share this recipe with you all. Cocoa is uh, one of my really favorite Nigerian breakfasts. Um, I like cocoa much better than kunu so comment down below let me know which one you like better coco or kunu and here we go guys this here is everything you need to make coco first thing we need of course we need the millet that i have soaked it in the water for 24 hours so i did that overnight and then now here we go i'm going ahead and blend it so another thing we need right now is ginger um, i'm using the organic fresh ginger um, also, you can use the dry ginger, the one we have back home. But remember, the dry one is a lot more, um, is a lot more stronger. So if you're going to use the dry one, make sure you're using only a lot of it. But if you're using the fresh one, you can add just like I did, not too much, just a lot of it. But definitely, you're going to need some ginger because the ginger give it a really good flavor and also it smells really good. Oh my God, looks like I'm struggling to cut it because I'm using the wrong knife. But that was the knife next to me, so I just grabbed it. <laughs> but yeah, so um, after adding the ginger, the next thing we will go ahead and add will be um, the cloves, um, which is um, cloves. What do you call that in the house? Um, kanumpari. Yes, so we're going to need some kanumpari. Um, please don't add the kanumpari too much. You only need a little bit of it. You don't want to add too much because if you do add too much, is the cocoa going to look really dark. So you do not want to add too much of it. You just add decent in there. And then the next thing will be chili um, barcono. Um, I bought this from uh, from Mexican store. So we can find it at any Spanish store because they also, you know, eat a lot of spicy. So, um, yes, you can find it there. And you don't want to put too much of it. Um, I only add it to you. If you, if you if you have kids maybe you can even add just one because kids like cocoa so um but for me too was really perfect so i did add it too in there but you can add more or less totally optional just remember if you add too much it's going to be spicy um if you don't add then it's just going to be normal and anyways next is i'm going ahead and add everything into my blender and add some water and then we're going to go ahead and blend everything. Make sure you blend it really well. I blend it for like six to seven minutes um, until when it is really smooth. And now here we go. The next thing is I have a really big container um, because um, doing tata for cocoa, you're going to need a lot of water. So that's why I have a big container. And then I have my cheater cloth. Um, you can use... Um, anything like strainer um radia if you have one but the thing with radia is it doesn't um strain it really well that's why i like to use um any cloth like this like this one is the quality that i you know made it now is my aventata and make sure you rinse everything well as you can see um do it because it's fine to have it's hard to find millet so i have to make sure everything you know it's not going to rest of course and also the cover as you can see that's a lot of it so i use clean water and put everything in there and rinse it and don't really worry about how much water you are adding when you are doing the tata because honestly it doesn't matter it's cocoa so and then the next thing i'm going ahead and start doing the tata like i said again if you have a strainer you can totally use it please just make sure it is really a really good one like the one that bring everything out really really soft if not um like the next day when you come back to make the cocoa you will see the cocoa is not really really soft so you're going to be doing this for a few minutes um, maybe three minutes or so and then um, of course you're going to add some water again until when everything is clear and also the chap is a little bit less some people will even put back the chap inside the blender and add some water and blend it again but i'm not going to do that so here we go, guys. This is the result. This is what you need. We're going to go ahead and close it and let it sit for 24 hours. You can do this at night. And then now here we go in the morning, guys, the next day. And I'm so happy. Look at that. So that's what you are supposed to see. Um, the millet 
should separate itself from the water. So the water should be on the on the top, and then the gasara cocoa should be under. And we're gonna need the cocoa. Um, sorry, we're gonna need the water on the top too. Um, to make the cocoa this morning. Um, and the reason that's that's how back home cocoa the first two days tastes the best. All right. So here we go. I put this on the um on the stove. Feel free to add some water if you want to. But I didn't add any water because that was enough. And then now I'm going to go ahead and get some of the gasara coco. As you can see, like you guys have no idea how happy I am right now. Because like I said, it's been a while since I had coco. Like I think the last time I had coco is, oh my God, five, six years ago. I remember when I was home, my uncle, his wife, because, oh my God, she make a really, really nice coco. She will, because I was there in Ramadan. That was like, yeah, exactly. Actually, six years ago. So um, she will make it for iftar and then bring it to my grandparents' house because I was staying at my grandparents' house. And it's always nice because I think she always like make it every two days. It's the best. All right, guys. Anyways, enough of the stories. Um, That's the gasara. I just added some in there and I'm going to get, as you can see, that I have a cup right there. So I'm just adding a little bit of, more of, the, of the gasara in there. And this is just how they make cocoa back home. And believe me, it does make a difference. So make sure you're doing this like I'm doing it. Because it does make a difference sometimes if you have that extra gasara um, on the side. So just make sure it's... But I added a little bit of water in there. So it's not, it's not, it's not as thick as the one inside, um, inside the bowl. So just make sure it's a little bit watery. At the same time, it's not too thick, just like I'm doing. You see right there? Yes. So we're going to need that. So just put it on the side after doing that. And here we go, guys. And then now my water is tapasa. So this is the hardest part for some people because they're like, I don't know when is enough. I was like, so start gently. Don't rush. You know, start slowly until then you see how the water goes. If you need more, and then you can add a little bit more. If you think it's enough, then you just let it go. So then that's it. Like for me right now, I feel like it's a little bit too thick. So I'm definitely going to add a little bit of the hot water. Like I said, just take your time a little bit. Some people like to rush, and that is why they don't get a good result when they're making the cocoa. And the same thing apply for kunu also. As you can see now, I just come back and add it a little bit more. The other one thing you have to do is you have to be fast when you're mixing it. If you are not fast, that's where the cocoa, it doesn't look really nice. Like you see right now. So now that's how I want it. I like my cocoa to be, you know, not too thick and not too watery. Actually, I like it a little bit thick. As you can see right here, it's not really too watery. So this is just how I like my cocoa. And yes, oh my God, it smells so good. I can smell that ginger and the cloves. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I really can't wait to drink some. And I just tested it and everything is perfect. I didn't add too much um, chili, the barcoino. I didn't add too much ginger and everything was good. And then now, as you can see, I just added that gasara in there. And yes, it add more flavor to the cocoa. So you have no idea how much flavor it's add to it. Sorry, guys. I just went to grab um sugar. And then I'm just going ahead and add some sugar in there. Because some people, like my husband, like cocoa without sugar. Especially fresh cocoa. But, oh my God, I, I cannot drink it like that. I love my cocoa with some sugar in there. And guys, guess what? Pretty much we are done making cocoa. So this is how we make cocoa back home in Nigeria. Yes. So nice, so fresh, so yummy. And I know a lot of kids like it. They love cocoa, some kids. I can't wait for um, my son to try cocoa. Because so far, I think he has never had cocoa in his life. So I'm sure he's going to love it. <laughs> Guys, Just I was going for one test, but I couldn't stop. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, my God. All right, I can't wait to get into it with my gosei on the side. Remember, guys, I do have the akra, the gosei recipe. Um... That was the video I posted not too long ago. And here I am enjoying my cocoa. Oh my God, guys, you have no idea how happy I am. I mean, you guys can see it from my face. Uh, you know, sometimes when I'm drinking stuff like this, that, you know, take me back home. It's just amazing, you know, how we, we're very thankful, you know, to be able to be here and at the same time, really drink or make anything you want, you know, that, you know, remind me of back home. So I'm really enjoying my cocoa. 
and yeah guys so i hope you guys will try it and let me know and i hope some of you if not all of you have missed me it's been a minute since i upload a video because i have been really busy with school but yeah guys i hope all of you enjoy this video and guys ramadan mubarak um may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our ibadah in this beautiful month of ramadan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all our sins the one we know and the ones we don't know i mean ya rabbi